Our adventures together span across four continents. From Death Valley to 20,000 feet in South America, the three of us have shared a thirst for exploration over the last 15 years. We selected the Italian Dolomites as this year's summer adventure destination. Point to point running over five days through spectacular mountains carrying only a change of clothes was an irresistible sell. We ran from Monday evening, June 10th, to Friday morning, June 14th, covering over 90 miles with 30,000 feet of climbing. The Dolomites are covered with alpine huts, providing rooms to sleep, as well as amazing three-course dinners, beer, wine, grappa, and a hearty breakfast. Along comes a heavy dose of Italian culture too, all for about 40 euro. These refugios are situated along trails and roads, making through hiking, climbing, and running more than manageable over literally hundreds of months. Winter in the Alps saw record cold and snow this year, with some areas breaking 60 year records. The snow was deep and the trails, altavias, and via ferratas were extra challenging or impassable. While many of the refugios were not open yet, there were enough open for us to put together a route through the mountains on the fly. This run came with a history lesson. The vast networks of trails, altavias, climber-assisted via ferratas, and even refugios are rooted in enabling access for soldiers fighting Austrians in World War I. Some benefits of running in the early season are having the trails and refugios to ourselves. All of our lodging reservations were made the night before, and we typically were the only ones staying at the refugio. This one, no. This, this one, no. It's all snow. It's snow bis, bis hierher. It's not good. Sicher nicht. It's ganz schlecht. We were the first runners through the route as we opened the trails for the season. Three out of the four nights, we were told our intended route was impassable and closed, which created stress, excitement, and fortunately, a sense of accomplishment. Often, we were greeted at refugios as having officially opened the route. along the trail offer lunch fare, beer, and unique Italian drinks, making for a great midday break.
After finishing in the beautiful mountain town of Cortina, we traveled to Munich and we celebrated all night. Wearing our running clothes, we started the Hofbrauhaus House and finally found a dance club after being turned away multiple times for apparel too sporty. Our next adventure takes us to South America in January, where we will run and climb to the epic mountains of Patagonia. Special thanks to our sponsors, Ultimate Direction, Rider's Eyewear, Arcteryx, Hoka 1-1, and Njinji.